What's up guys, my name is Preston Palmer, student engineering. In this video we're going over statically indeterminate objects and improperly constrained objects. And if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So in engineering, you often want to make what you're designing to have redundant parts, meaning that if one part of your object or your thing that you're designing fails, then the redundant part takes over and it can take the loading that is put on it. And so if you're designing a building, that might be a redundant column that will take a load if another column fails. In a machine, it might be a part of your frame that takes over if another part fails. But redundancy causes there to be more support reactions, which causes there to be more unknown forces happening in your object. And so that can make it so you have more unknowns than you have knowns, which is what statically indeterminate objects are. They have more unknowns than knowns. So in 2D space, you have three equilibrium equations that can help you solve for those unknowns, which is your sum of your forces in your x direction, your sum of your forces in the y direction, and the sum of the moments. And so you have three equilibrium equations that can help you solve for those unknowns, but if you have more than three unknowns, then the object becomes statically indeterminate. And you have to use other equations that you'll learn later, like in mechanics and materials, that will help you solve for those unknowns. So in statics, you only have those three in 2D space. In 3D space, you have six, the sum of your forces in your x, y, and z directions, and the sum of the moments in the x, y, and z directions. And so you have six equations in 3D space, but you often have more support reactions that you need to solve for. So that is what it means to be statically indeterminate, is to have more unknown forces than known forces. And those unknown forces might be support reactions, they might be forces that you're trying to solve for, but if you have more of those than you have equilibrium equations, it is called statically indeterminate. And improper constraints is if, say, we have this beam here and it has the loading such that you have this force P on it, well, you can see just by looking at it that with that load P, it's going to be causing a moment about this point A on that pin and it's just going to cause it to rotate, meaning that it's not going to be in equilibrium. It's not going to be stable. And so improper constraints cause an object to be not in equilibrium with certain loads applied to them. And so you can see here that those support reactions from the roller on that end and the pin right here at this end, that all three of those support reactions pass through the same point, point A right here, and that is causing this beam to be improperly constrained. Or in other words, in 2D space, if all of your support reactions pass through the same point or their lines of actions of those forces pass through the same point, then that will cause it to be improperly constrained. What that looks like in 3D space is that if you have all your forces passing through the same axis, not necessarily going along the same axis, but just passing through that axis at any point, then it is also improperly constrained. Another way that you can get an object improperly constrained is if all your forces are parallel, and that is either in 2D space or 3D space. So what we have here is we have a pipe hanging out of the ceiling, and all those forces from the wires are pulling up on it. So it can only resist force in that direction parallel to those wires, what we might call the Y direction. But if we have another force here, this 100 newtons pushing on it, there's nothing to resist that force, and therefore it will move and not be in equilibrium. So it would also be improperly constrained. And so, kind of to sum that up, if all your forces pass through the same point in 2D space, or if it all passes through the same axis in 3D space, then it will be improperly constrained. Or if all your forces are parallel to each other, then it can be improperly constrained. And being improperly constrained means that under certain loading conditions, 
it might not be in equilibrium. And so that's something you gotta watch out for. And so I hope you guys better understand statically indeterminate objects and improperly constrained objects. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.